Hi guys, I'm Stefano from Web Your Mind and welcome to the 8th lesson of the Laravel course. In this lesson we will talk about events. So let's start creating a new controller and uh, we will use the artisan tool to, to accomplish to this uh, task. So PHP artisan controller make and let's say let's give a name to this controller new order controller. Okay, let's enter invalid command. This is a mistake, but I, I simply switch the position of the the command line of the, the two parameters of the command line. So. OK, controller created successfully. Now we are going to open uh, the newly created file, new order controller. And uh, you will see here we have a uh, standard uh, uh, RESTful controller with uh, the index method, create, store, show, delete method. And, but uh, now we don't need them at the moment. Uh, and uh, I'm going to delete all of them. Uh, we are creating a couple of uh, a couple of methods in order to um, demonstrate how Laravel handles events, and I su I'm supposing that uh, we can send an email when uh, a customer will uh, will um, buy a pizza or order a pizza. So we need two functions: show menu and post order. The first one to show the menu, and the second one we will. Uh, will handle the, um, the order creation. Before filling those function, let me show you how I prepare the roots uh, PHP file. I prepare a root group with prefix menu and then two, two roots uh, all and uh, with a get verbs verb and a post order with um, post verb. The first one references an our new order controller show menu method and the second one the post order method. Now let's fill uh, the first of the two method. Basically what we are going to do is to retrieve some data from the database and uh, pass them to a view. So first of all uh, let's uh, import our uh, model. So use pizzeria and pizzeria is in the namespace, menu is the object. Then retrieve uh, all objects from the menu so let's declare a variable menu list and it's equal to menu double semicolon all now let's uh, return our uh, parameters to a view then uh, so return view and first parameter is the view name uh, I think it's a menu menu it's okay it's fine menu it's fine and the second parameter is an array and we are going to pass uh, our menu list so uh, we're declaring uh, um, the first element uh, only one man element the we can call the item uh, menu list and then we can pass the variable dollar menu list i've created uh, just before a simple view under uh, resources uh, views a view is called uh, menu.blade.php it's a very simple very simple view and uh, nothing new than uh, what we have seen in previous lesson it extends the layout default um, default blade.php uh, and uh, including defining a new section called menu content so uh, in the default blade we have the uh, we have we must add the instruction to include to render our new view <coughs> this is done by at the yield menu content followed by the name of the section okay menu content the remaining part is a, a section with a, a little bootstrap uh, impagination uh, it's a simple uh, column with an offset used to center in the page and then we have uh, the title and a list an, an ordered list in this list I use the for each uh, loop to uh, uh, render the uh, the list of the items 
so in the I'm looping on the menu list uh, this is the parameter uh, we have passed just, uh, just before and uh, the item dollar item variable will contain our um, model or the, the dish now let's try our work so menu all I expect to see what we are seeing now so the menu list followed by two items those two items are um, in the database table in the menu in the menu table I pasted a, a new section in the page and it is uh, nothing but a very very basic uh, uh, Laravel form unstyled and uh, without uh, any frill so we have a simple uh, tag for opening form and uh, we are using here the post order uh, method callback Then we have two simple uh, text field, uh, one just to retrieve some data, and the uh, submit button. Okay, and, and the final thing is uh, the form uh, close uh, tag that tells Laravel to close the, the form. Now let's have a look. If refreshing the page, we'll have uh, here the, the basic form we have just created. The, don't don't worry about that about the form because in the next lesson i will explain you how to style them and create a robust and consistent uh, forms at the moment we need them only to trigger the events let's now try to click on the click me button i'm pretty sure that uh, we will be redirected to an empty page and that's it this is an empty page the post order page now using Artisan, we are going to create uh, our event code. So PHP Artisan make event and then the event name, for example, example event. Okay, event creating success. Let's see what uh, Artisan created for us. So under app events, we will find the example event PHP. As you can see, it's a simple file, uh, pretty empty there is only one method uh, one function construct what we are going to do now is to add some method uh, to, in order to customize uh, this uh, this event so uh, we are going to create uh, a variable called message and uh, we are going to initialize it in the constructor so let's add the parameter to the constructor dollar msg and uh, assign that value to uh, the, the message uh, variable the message attribute okay then we need another uh, another method to return the the message so simply it's a simple getter and we will call it the get message and it does nothing more than return dollar this arrow message once create, uh, created the event, let's create the handler class uh, used to manage the event. So what we have to do is uh, use artisan, php artisan, create handler colon semicolon event, then the event example event handler class, and then the event binded to the class, so example event. Uh, then we have to do return, and e handler created successfully, perfect. Now we have uh, a new class, a new object, and uh, it is uh, under uh, handlers, events, example event handler. Here we can find uh, the, a pretty empty class with the method construct and one more method called handle. Okay, in this method uh, we will put our code to, to handle the event. Basically, the handle function will catch the event, so we are adding some log to see the event uh, mechanism. So to do, in order to do this, we have to import uh, uh, facades log and add this uh, facility, this line to, to trace in the log file. 
So log the bug, we are the, we are adding some simple uh, tracing instruction. So when the, the event will be raised, the handle function we will uh, write on the file e event uh, example handler and then we are going to to write on the output file the event and we are going to call the get message method just implemented just before. Okay, we are in fact we have the get message. Okay, let's save the file. I think it's uh, it's okay. There are two more steps uh, to close uh, the operation for our uh, event management, and the first one is to add the in the event service provider our event so uh, we have to add to this uh, protected uh, variable array our event with the full path as name of the item of the array pizzeria events example event and uh, the second uh, the second parameter is uh, one or more uh, uh, handlers so we have uh, only one handler example event handler exactly and now we have uh, to simply save the the file. The, the last step is to raise the event. And we do this in the post order controller. Um, I paste uh, right now uh, just uh, a little bit of code with the two imports, input and events. Uh, we are using them to catch the the events and the, the input from the form in the menu in the menu form in the in the view created before. So we I'm now declaring a dollar message uh, array. It takes uh, two items. The first one is the email and the second one is the name. Those are the inputs from the the form mentioned uh, just before. And then we use the event fire method to uh, to fire to trigger the, the event this method takes uh, one parameter and this is uh, a new instance of our class uh, as you can see we are uh, have imported uh, in uh, with the use pizzeria event example event in, at the top of the class of the file sorry okay now say let's save and take a look at what happened to uh, if we click on the click me button I'm expecting to see uh, something in the log file. Um, okay, let's click. The page is still empty because we have not handled uh, the response to the browser. But uh, in the storage uh, logs directory, we have the log file and we have uh, example event handler, handle, and then the array. The array we have just passed that is our event. This is what we have written in the in the handle method. As you can see, we have the both uh, our items of, of the array. So uh, we can say that the, the event is correctly triggered. And now let's complete uh, the post order method, simply returning uh, a view. This view is the uh, order done dot blade dot php. Uh, I will show you in a moment. And uh, as a parameter, we can pass the message dollar message. That is uh, the event, formerly the event. Now in the order done uh, blade, uh, we we need to open the default uh, blade dot php. Uh, that is the, the, the template. And then uh, in order to add the the section, the yield the content. I'm adding right now, so let's copy from the, the view and the yield. Okay, all the done content. Now let's go back to the view, save uh, obviously save the, the file. Let's go back to the view. As you can see, we have a simple dollar message, an echo from the dollar message name, when the string order done, and then uh, another another row send a confirmation email and with the nick of the dollar message email content. Uh, okay, I think we can see if it works. Let's click to the okay. Order done, Stefano. Send confirmation email to example at gmail.com. Now let's create another event because I want to show you how to handle differently events in Laravel. So we can use a PHP artisan make event uh, order done. 
Order created is better. Okay, event created successfully. Now let's open uh, the newly created file and uh, it is uh, pretty the same of the uh, event uh, example event created before. And I'm going to to do exactly the same thing. So so define a message uh, a message uh, uh, attribute and um, passing it into the constructor and the third thing uh, assign it to the to the private uh, to the private attribute last thing is to copy the get message we will use it uh, the second things we are going to do is to add uh, this uh, the management in the event server directly in the event server provider by passing the the handler uh, class So let's open the event service provider and uh, what we are going to do is uh, to modify the boot function. As you can see I added uh, this bit of code, it's um, a call to event uh, listen. This uh, method uh, call, uh, takes two parameters, the first one is uh, our order created, the event created uh, just before and the second one is a function where that takes uh, up event parameter. In this function uh, we will uh, can track, uh, we will manage the event uh, that we received. Um, this way we can avoid the use of the handler class. So I'm modifying the log in order to distinguish it from the, the previous one. Mm. Order created, okay. Mm. Uh, I pasted the the, uh, the event name, then save the file. Uh, I think we it's done. Uh, we are missing one only thing, and uh, th that is the the fire of the the event. As you can see, I did a little mistake. I called order instead of order. I'm correcting it and I'm renaming the file to to order control created. Okay, done. Um, what we are going to do now is to fire the the event or order created. So let's copy it uh, here. So we are uh, firing a new new event order created with the same parameter dollar msg. I am expecting to see now uh, a new line of uh, in the log file. So let's take a look if everything is okay. I imported uh, okay. Let's correct the imported uh, class. Uh, reload the page and then click the click me button. So let's take a look at the log file. Here we have the new line of code. As you can see, event provider, boot, pizzeria, events, order created, got the message, and we have the message. I think that for today it's enough. In the next lesson we will uh, see forms uh, and we will improve the form used for this uh, lesson. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel using the big red button uh, in the bottom of the, this page or um, leave a comment a suggestion using the social uh, in the right corner bye and see you on the next lesson